Well, hello. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. It has been such a long time since I've sat down and filmed. This feels a little bit odd. So, as you can tell by the title, this video is going to be a little tour of Carefully Garden Centre. I hope I'm saying that right. <laughs> there is so much noise today. But before we get started, firstly I want to apologise about any noise that you can hear whilst I'm recording here. It's like 8am and it's already really, really hot. We're in the week of the like 30 degree weather for a week in the UK here. Um, so my windows and doors are currently open while the sun is not hitting the apartment to try and get some cool air flowing through. And because it's 8am, everyone's out and about getting ready to go to work. Okay, scrap what I just said. I've just pulled the window up. Hopefully it's a bit less quiet. Everyone really is going to work. <laughs> On that note, um, I'm working from home this week. I will talk a little bit more about that in a different video, but that's not for today's video. This introduction feels really weird because normally when I'm going out <laughs> to a garden centre, I film before I go. So I've been to the garden centre, I've already been, it's been a few days <laughs> that I've been home since getting back from the garden centre. Um, it feels a little bit weird starting off a video when I've already done the thing. What do I need to tell you? So this might seem a little bit random, <laughs> but I'm quite a fan of Strongman. It shows on, in the UK on the TV like over Christmas time and I've watched it every year for I mean I've watched it every year for at least 10 years and I've watched I've and like you know multiple times when I was younger as well um <laughs> I don't know why I really enjoy it and I've always really enjoyed it even before I met Steve Steve is my husband um he is very into fitness going to the gym bodybuilding all of that stuff so it totally makes sense that he likes watching strong man <laughs> doesn't make quite the same sense for me but I've always enjoyed it even before meeting Steve and the um part of the kind of like strongman franchise I'm sure that's not the right word there is Giants Live and that's kind of like the it's, it's a separate thing to strongman I believe but it's kind of part of the same thing um and it was the Giants Live opening in Cardiff last weekend and for Steve's birthday, which was like back in April, I bought I bought us tickets to go and watch. Um, so we got to go and watch it live, which was actually amazing. <laughs> it was hours. Like when you're watching it on TV, like I've kind of always thought, oh, you know, it must take it must take a while to get everything set up but wow <laughs> it took a really long time like I think I think we got there about half four and we didn't leave until ten <laughs> it was just such a long time but it was so good <laughs> so good and um what was also like one of my favorite bits was they were I can't remember what it was called now but it might have been called like wrecking ball or something the they have to hold up this massive wrecking ball and Mark Felix who is like how old is he I think he's like 57 years old looks phenomenal is so incredibly strong and he's like known for having really strong hands like his grip is insane and even though he's kind of retired from strongman he's not competing anymore he did that and like it was just really it was really cool to see like to see him do that even though he wasn't kind of competing he did it and held it for a phenomenal amount of time and it's just anyway I'll have shown some clips whilst I was talking I'm sure no <laughs> I'll be surprised if any of you are also interested in strongman although the crowd at, in the arena was very diverse I was worried I was going to feel out of place but nope there was loads of different people there so it was really really cool Anyway, that was on the Saturday and then on the Sunday on our way back, we drove, we kind of did a detour home and went to Carefully Garden Centre. I have been there once before and I was really, really impressed and 
they're not the most active on Instagram but every now and then I'll kind of see like they'll post on their stories about some plants they've got in stock and I'll be like those are some good plants and th they are a really good garden center for plants and plant collectors like there's I mean there's not like rare rare plants there but they have a really good selection of kind of the really common everyday plants that are easy to find and then there's like slightly less common harder to find and then they've got a cabinet with ones that are like a bit more expensive and maybe harder to find again so i'm going to show you clips from the garden center now i think you're going to really enjoy seeing these plants there are some beauties there and i'll meet you back here after to show you what i got i initially forgot to talk in my videos just doing a voiceover for this a little bit there are these um raffidophora hay or hay i think that's how you pronounce them they were quite cool to see and then next to them they had these epipremnum that had the fenestrations which was really really cool and then there was this plant and I thought it was a Hoya but it's not and I can't remember what it was but I start talking now. <laughs> it's very cool it looks like a Hoya but it is not. Look at the size of these alocasia leaves. Got some. Oh yeah that's a schismatic glossus. Cute little caladium or something similar. Very cool. And Therium regal apparently. Hey. Yeah, no, I don't really like those. Ring of Fire for £28. It's pretty cool. Steve just pointed out the schismatic glottis. £12. It's very cool. This little guy. Past the same on. New leaves coming in. I'm coming. Philodendron melanocrysum. Look how red these guys are. Wow. That is so red. Philodendron. Oh, is that Macaulay's final or something like that? <laughs> Whenever I see these in person, I really, really like them. Nine pound. Okay. I might get one of those. Look at this guy. <gasps> wow. He's gorgeous. So do I. That's stunning. He's got a new leaf coming in. That's really pretty. I don't think I've seen this sort of in real life. They're really pretty, but they're crawlers, aren't they? And we all know how I feel about crawlers. It's a really nice Syngonium mojito. £16. Okay. Philodendron campi. Cool leaves. I don't like the style of these growers though. Is this a problem in the blender? Colocatio high low beauty. Very cool. I like the variation on that. Wait, how much was it? Twelve pound. Oh, it's getting tangled up. <laughs> Ooh. Very cool. Mm. Look at that. Philodendron pastas anum. Very, very cool. Wait, how can this be a pastas anum? There are some 
other plants labelled as pastazanum, they weren't the same, were they? Well, now I'm confused. If you know which one's which, please let me know in the comments. Right, let's see what else we've got. Little cacti and succulent table. Beautiful. Oh, very, very pretty. Oh, there's loads of them. <laughs> wow, look at these. Oh. Wow, that is stunning. Oh, look, little oxalis growing in there. Oh, that is really, really pretty. I have one of these but it's not growing very well so maybe i'll get one of those <gasps> stunning so so pretty i think i like that one the most very cool oh look there's some ranta silver band there I'll have to go around and see those lots of gorgeous photos philodendron Oh, they got relegated on the shittier. How much are those? Oh, so pretty. Seven pound. Really, really pretty. So cool. Oh, sorry. Oh, I've got loads of strings of hearts. Enjoy pansies and dancing. I'll put them in one. Oh, bundled together and then variegated Seven ones. Pounds. Some strings of pearls and some cutisei, some spider plants behind. Got a variegated carei, which is £20. Oh, look at all their linearis. <gasps> so pretty. Let me see if I can find out how much they are. £20. Really good length. Eleven pound for the silver band. Very cool. Look how many there are. See of silver bands. Oh, let's have a look in this section. Look at the size of that fern. There was a delivery trolley being wheeled around at this point, so I'm going to do a voiceover because it got really loud. But here was another lipstick plant. I think, I can't remember how you pronounce the proper name for them, but that one was a little bit variegated. And then around the corner, there was this huge pothos that was looking really cool. They have some more ferns and some Tradescantia. Nice Monstera deliciosa there. And this Ripsalis Paradoxa Minor was quite sweet. They're so pretty. I think is a way to eye. Oh, look, that's pretty cool for like water propagating. They've done it with this alocasia cupria. That is quite cool. Five ninety nine, four ninety nine, even not five ninety nine. Look at this bird. Stunning. They've even got this display, these bromelades and orchids, displayed epiphytically on the tree, like they would be growing in real life. And then they have a cabinet with like some more expensive beauties. They've got this Thai constellation, 
70 pounds. There's this one over here as well, which is stunning. Got some variegated Ansonii. That's like there. 40, 48 pounds. And then I've got a Monstera, a variegated Monstera Ansonii of the different types. And then what's this up here? Syngonium Aurium. It's like the yellow Syngonium. And then Monstera Oakley for 89. Very cool. And now over to this little table. They've got so many plants. Wow. Oh, look at the Anidia Silvers. How much are these? Oh, they're so tiny. £4.50. How cute. And they look a little bit of a funny colour, but they're still cute. Oh, grass with footballs on. This is definitely one of my favourite Marantas. So you guys know I have one. £9. Stunning. There's loads of them. Some bonsai. Very cute. This was another noisy section as they were unpacking the delivery, so I apologise for that. And there's some noise going on outside, so that you're probably going to be able to hear that too. Um, I was saying in the video here that I had a ficus like that that was really struggling at home and then I took it into work and it's thriving and living its best life. I really like these aglionema. I always kind of gravitate towards them. These ones in particular with kind of narrow leaves and they're extra silvery. I just really like them. I feel like um, aglionema are having a little bit of a moment in garden centres at the moment. They're quite readily available it seems, at least the ones I'm like the garden centres I'm going to, they always seem to be around. There's loads of different types. They're quite cool. I like them. On this table, they had some Calathea and some Dracaena and Schlaffera as well. And over here, they had some more slightly bigger versions of the plants. And then just panning around to make sure I haven't missed anything, which I do spot I've missed something. Oh, I missed these. They're going your snow caps. <laughs> I have no idea if that's a good price. They're cute though. What did I tell you? There are some amazing plants there, right? Having watched that back, I have some regrets about leaving some plants behind, but before I tell you about those, let me show you the ones that I did get. You would have seen me carrying this one around. My Syndapsis Silvery Anne, yeah. So Syndapsa silvery and bush is how they've described it. And I love this plant. Like, love, love, love. I'm sorry, I just, <laughs> just spotted something on the back of the leaves. I thought it was a pest, but it is not. To be fair, I didn't see any pests walking around that garden center, like none, not even a fungus gnat, I don't think. And that's impressive. But yeah, this specimen is absolutely stunning. How beautiful is that? And the other plant I got, I got one. <laughs> so this is the Alocasia Silver Dragon. It has these gorgeous gorgeous silver leaves with the dark dark veining like oh, wow they're a really nice texture it's like I don't know it's thick like really thick they're a beautiful color I'm really happy to have one of these every time I've seen them like out and about recently in different shops I've been really drawn to them and I think what stopped me from getting them until now is I, I feel like me and Alocasia just don't really get on like I struggle with them quite a bit I think it's because of the whole like dormancy period um 
so I'm a little bit worried that I've bought this right at the end of summer <laughs> but uh I, I hope I can keep it happy because it's so pretty it's got a new leaf coming in this thing here and the backs of the leaves are quite incredible it's so red like the camera's not really picking it up and doing it justice but it's like a really deep burgundy red it's so cool really 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 cool i'm very happy to have this the um the care tag that comes with it does say that its easy care score is a three out of five star i'm not sure i agree uh but we'll find out i guess so those were the two plants i got while i was there and as i said i do have some regrets i regret leaving the philodendron pasta zanum zanum however you say it that leaf that leaf was stunning like real pillowy so beautiful i really really do regret leaving that one behind but i i feel like that one might also be a a crawler can somebody let me know in the comments is that one a crawler and is the sodroy a crawler <laughs> i regret leaving the sodroy as well like they looked like they were climbers there were growth points going up so i don't know why i thought they were crawlers i don't know i really do regret leaving these two plants not that i like if i'd bought all four <laughs> It would have been a little bit a little bit too much money but um oh, rats. <laughs> i really do regret it <laughs> they were stunning and it's not like like that garden center is i mean it's like an hour and a half away like it's <laughs> it's not the closest it's not one that i can just hop back over to next weekend because uh i really wanted to get those plants it's it's like one that I'd, I'd want to drive there and then spend some time there and I haven't haven't got time to do that <laughs> but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I feel like I did much better at kind of vlogging around the garden center I asked permission beforehand I was I was really glad that I did ask for permission um I kind of like I obviously you will have heard there's a bit of a voiceover at the beginning because I started filming without talking <laughs> and then remembered that I'd asked permission and that it was okay to talk and that I needed to like just just go for it so I'm getting better <laughs> I'm really pleased it went well it felt good and I really enjoyed it it's a gorgeous garden center if you're ever in the area I highly recommend visiting just make sure you've got some money to spend <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up comment below if there are any plants that you spotted in the video that you would have picked up and you're surprised that i didn't <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already and i will see you in my next one thanks for watching bye